The Arctic. Its barren, lonely lands possess a stark beauty found nowhere else. Despite hostile conditions for much of the year, a surprising array of wildlife are at home here. At the top of the Arctic food chain sits the mighty polar bear, the largest land carnivore in the world. Capping the top of our planet, the vast white expanses of the Arctic help to cool the Earth, keeping our annual energy budget in balance. But it's a fragile landscape and sensitive to change. The planet is warming, but nowhere is that warming more amplified than in the Arctic, where sea ice trends tell the tale. Sea ice extent has seen a precipitous decline over the past few decades, where as much as 75% of summer ice has disappeared since the start of the satellite era in 1979. As the reflective snow and ice surfaces decline year after year, the darker open ocean absorbs more solar radiation, leading to further warming. But sea ice is critical to the Arctic marine food web which harbors a large number of microorganisms that go on to support fish that become food for seals, which become food for the apex predator, the polar bear. Sea ice itself is also the very platform on which the bears hunt and mate. Polar bears are creatures of the ice. They have adapted to live on the sea ice and uh, do the things they have to do so that their whole life is dependent on sea ice and being able to hunt on sea ice. But a longer ice-free period in certain areas of the Arctic, including Hudson Bay, means that prime polar bear habitat is becoming threatened. The spring feeding period is the most important time of year for the bears, so an earlier spring breakup can spell trouble. An increased ice-free period means the bears are on land longer and are hungrier. Female bears are less likely to have cubs, and human interactions are more likely. The challenge is polar bears cannot readily adapt to life on land. Their whole system is evolved to handling fat. They digest fat with an efficiency of 96 to 97 percent. That's just about straight on. And uh, you can't do that when you're eating, eating berries or, uh, or grass. Polar bears have survived ice-free periods in the past when they could scavenge the carcasses of fatty marine mammals that washed ashore. But given increased human activity and industry in the Arctic, and the fact that whaling has decimated whale populations in many areas, this time around could be different. In the present circumstance, with climate warming and the loss of sea ice in the Arctic, the habitat that they need for, uh, for making a living, they are, they are threatened because, in fact, their habitat, their ability to earn a living is uh, severely threatened. 